x over 2 plus 1 equals 3. Well, I'd like to get closer to the bit with x in it, the x over 2, so I'd like to get rid of the plus 1. So I'll get rid of plus 1 by taking away 1 from each side. If I take away 1, then the plus 1 disappears, and I need to remember to do the same thing to both sides. So x over 2 equals 2. Well, I don't want to know what x over 2 is. I want to know what a whole x is. So I need to multiply by 2 in order to get a whole x. But then I need to remember to do exactly the same thing to both sides. So I've got to multiply the right-hand side by 2 as well to get x equals 4. x over 3 minus 2 equals 5. Well, I'd like to get closer to the x over 3 bit, so I'd like to get rid of the minus 2. Get rid of a minus 2 by adding 2, and then the x over 3 is, is on its own, and the minus 2 has disappeared. But I need to remember to do the same to the other side as well, so adding 2, x over 3 equals 7. But I don't want to know what x over 3 is, I want to know what a whole x is. So to get from x over 3 to a whole x, I need to multiply by 3 both sides. So doing the same thing on the right hand side, 7 times 3 is 21, and x equals 21. x over 5 plus 7 equals 1. Well, I'd like to get the x over 5 bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the plus 7. I get rid of plus 7 by taking away 7, but I need to remember to do that on the other side as well. So 1 take away 7 is minus 6. x over 5 equals minus 6. Well, I'm not interested in what x over 5 is. I want to know what a whole x is. So I multiply everything by 5 to cancel out the fact that we're dividing by 5, but I need to remember to do the same on the other side as well. So minus 6 times 5 is minus 30, giving us the final answer, x equals minus 30. x over 4 minus 1 is minus 6. But I'd like to get closer to the bit with the x in, the x over 4. So I want to get rid of the minus 1. I get rid of minus 1 by adding 1, but then I need to remember to add 1 to the other side as well. So minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. x over 4 equals minus 5. I'm not interested in what x over 4 is, I'm interested in what a whole x is. So I need to multiply by 4 to get a whole x. So when I do minus 5 times 4, I get minus 20, and the answer is x equals minus 20. x over 2 minus 3 equals minus 3. So I'd like to get the x over 2 bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the minus 3. I'll get rid of minus 3 by adding 3, and I need to remember to do that on the right-hand side as well. So adding 3 to both sides, I get x over 2 equals 0. Well, I'm not interested in what x over 2 is, I want to know what a whole x is. So to get a whole x, I need to multiply by 2, and when I multiply the right-hand side by 2, 0 times 2 is still 0, so x equals 0. x over 10 plus 6 equals minus 2. Well, I'd like to get the x over 10 bit on its own, so I want to get rid of the 6. I'll get rid of the 6 by taking away 6, but then I need to remember to do that on the other side as well. So minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8. So x over 10 equals minus 8. 
But I'm not interested in what x over 10 is, I'm interested in what a whole x is. So to get a whole x, I need to multiply by 10. So when I do minus 8 times 10, I get minus 80. So x equals minus 80. 